Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. For today's video we'll be showing you how to make this delicious acorn squash recipe. So basically we use some acorn squash, we cut them up and bake them with some cheese and vegetables. It's a very simple recipe and it's really great for the fall season. So if you'd like to see how to make this recipe then please keep on watching. So first we're starting off with the vegetables that we used in this recipe. So we used half an onion chopped finely. We used some yellow, green, red, and orange peppers all chopped finely into small pieces. We also used some black olives that do not have any seeds in them. And we also used 10 leaves of spinach chopped finely. Next you'll need of course an acorn squash. You'll also need 1 tablespoon of salt, 2 tablespoons of olive oil, and 1 cup of grated mozzarella. You can also double up the recipe with more acorn squashes depending on how much you're serving. And lastly the seasoning that you'll need is 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of parsley flakes, 1 teaspoon of oregano, 1 teaspoon of thyme, 1 teaspoon of rosemary, and 1 teaspoon of basil. Alright, so first we're going to start off with putting some water up to boil so that we can cook our acorn squash. Now, with the acorn squash, we're going to start cutting it and you want to turn it on its side and start cutting off on the ends. Now, be mindful, this is going to be very rough to cut. It's a very rough vegetable, so you'll need a very sharp and sturdy knife for this. Now, as you can see here, when you do cut it, it starts to look like a flower. So each slice will look like a flower and the whole idea is that it's going to look like a flower and we're going to cut out the middle and put our ingredients inside. So now here we're just taking a knife and running it all the way around the acorn squash just to get some of the innards and the seeds out. And we're doing this because, like I said earlier, we're just going to put all of the vegetables in the middle and cook it that way. So you're just going to do this for each slice and it shouldn't be hard to do but if there are some of the pieces that don't have any holes in them like this one, then you're just going to make a hole with the knife or any type of tool that you can use to make a circular hole inside. It doesn't need to be a perfect hole, it just needs to be big enough so it could fit all of the ingredients that you're going to put in. After that, all your pieces should look somewhat like these ones. All of the holes, like I said, won't be the same or perfect, but they just need to be big enough to fit in the ingredients. So now we're going to go back to our um, boiling water and we're just going to put in our one tablespoon of salt and then we're going to drop all of our acorn squash slices straight into the pan and the reason we're doing this is because it's going to boil for a little while just like how you boil potatoes in a sense you want it to soften up but you don't want it to get too soft where it would fall apart so we're gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes and then we're gonna come back and get them ready for the oven After three to five minutes, you're gonna come back and you're going to take a toothpick and you're just going to stab it into one of them just to see how soft it is. When it's sort of halfway soft, where it's still sturdy, but it has a little bit of softness where the toothpick can poke through, then you know that your acorn squash is ready to be taken out. So we're just going to put it into a strainer and just to strain out any excess water that's coming out of it. Now we'll be moving on to preparation. So we're going to take all those spices that we mentioned earlier on in the video and we're just going to mix all of these together to be combined into one spice that we can sprinkle all over each one of our acorn squash slices. Next you'll take a pan, an oven baking pan, and then you're going to line it with tin foil. And then you're going to take your olive oil and just brush that all over. This will prevent your acorn squash from sticking to the bottom of the pan. And you're going to add as much as you feel that you need. So we have the two tablespoons there, but we are just using as much as we can average that we, we may need for the amount of acorn squash that we have. 
And once the pan is completely oiled, you're going to start placing your acorn squash slices onto the pan and there's no specific order you can do this any way that you'd like and you can use any type of pan that you want as long as it's oven safe because you're going to be putting it in the oven of course next we are glazing our acorn squash slices with the olive oil as well and we're just doing this just so that it adds another extra boost of flavor when we're adding all the other ingredients on top We are then taking the seasoning that we put together earlier with all the seasonings mixed together and we're just going to add that straight on to each one of the slices and the reason why we are doing this is that it's going to give it a nice stronger flavor and now we're going to do the same on the other side so on the other side of each acorn squash you're going to brush it with olive oil and then also add the same seasoning right on top. Now that they are properly seasoned, we're going to start adding in our ingredients into each one of them. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can do this any way that you like. You can put some spinach into one as we did here. You can put some peppers, you can put your onions, your olives, anything. And you can also fill these with meat if you really wanted to, but we wanted to do a more vegetarian side of this dish just for the sake of the video. And it tastes really delicious with the vegetarian ingredients as well. So you're just going to fill each one of your acorn squashes with your ingredients. And then we're just going to speed this up a little bit just so that um, we save some time. Also, don't forget that all the ingredients that we are using in this video will be in the description box below. So now we're going to start adding in our last ingredients. So we're just adding in our onions and we are putting a little bit of onions onto our acorn squash slices mainly because we didn't want to overpower it with that flavor because we already have olives in each one of them. So it would have been really pungent and very um, acidic in that sense if we had put too much onions on top. So we're just putting a little bit and you could substitute all of our ingredients with other ingredients if you choose to. So now we're going to move on to the mozzarella cheese, which we're going to put straight on top. You can put as much cheese as you want. The more cheese, the better. But we decided to use mozzarella because we thought it worked really well with the acorn squash flavors. You can also try cheddar. You can use Tex-Mex, anything that works for you. And honestly, cheese is cheese. It is going to come out delicious either way. After you're finished with your cheese, you're going to put this in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes on 380 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll be right back. After 20 to 30 minutes, this is what your acorn squash slices should look like. Very cheesy and just very delicious and appeasing to the eye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below if you've tried this recipe or any of our other recipes, DIYs, or beauty related videos on our channel. Also, stay tuned for more videos this fall by looking at our social media handles. We'll be dropping hints all the time about what we will be uploading. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching.